and today you guys are going to be watching my segment called Jazz on the Science Channel. So today we're going to be attempting to make an exploding bag. So what you're going to need is some water, vinegar, baking soda, a plastic bag, some measuring things, and a napkin or a tissue. So you're going to get one fourth of a cup of water and you're going to pour it into your bag. Um, okay, that's fine. Then you're gonna get half a cup and pour vinegar into it. After you're done mixing those two, you're going to get your napkin. I would actually rip it in half if it's big because you're going to just put three teaspoons of baking soda in the middle. After you're done pouring your teaspoons of baking soda, you're going to bunch it up just like this. You're gonna close your bag and leave a little bit of room to insert your little pouch of baking soda. It's a pretty fast reaction. you guys enjoyed today's segment. Thank you for watching. See you next time. <sighs> That's the winner. Oh my god, I almost died. Yeah, sure. Should I whack it? No, no. Still do it. The that way it pops. Okay. Maybe I am just gonna whack it. Good morning, Patriots. My name is David Yerger, and welcome to your super special workout regimen video. I'm coming at you guys today with some arm workouts. Now, you may be wondering, you know, what do I need arm workouts for? Well, actually, um, working out your arms burns lots of calories, helps you lose weight, and it just builds up strength and endurance. So, if you do sports or you're just going to be lifting things, then arm workouts are definitely for you. So, let's just get straight into it. Now the first workout is kind of like a warm up, but it's still, you can feel the burn on this one. These are called arm circles. So with this workout, you really just want to stretch out your arms, you know, show off that beautiful wingspan. And then you want to start by moving your arms in little circles and then slowly, slowly just get bigger circles and bigger circles. And then you just want to reverse it and go bigger to smaller gradually. So. Just do that for a couple, it should take you about a minute or so, and yeah, so that's the first workout. All right, now for the second exercise is going to be overhead claps. Now, it's pretty self-explanatory, you're just going to be clapping over your head, but um, you know, this exercise is also sort of a warm-up, but you're really going to feel this one, so you just want to really go at the same tempo every time for about one minute just do some overhead claps and okay, the next exercise we have everybody knows these is some push-ups okay these are really going to be the main workout for today um so you're really just going to get in a push-up position as you guys should know palms into the floor you know have your heels facing the sky um and then you know just get down almost touch your chest to the floor but don't actually do it because what some people like to do is just get lazy and just touch their chest to the floor and lay there no and also make sure you keep your butt like down you should be looking pretty straight like a plank okay so just do about 15 to 20 i know it sounds like a lot but you know if you can just do that um that's one set and then you know you can do that like two to three times and call it a day guys Okay, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of your super special fitness workout video. Um, yes, just take care and get them arms big. And I'll see you guys next time. Hello everyone, hope everyone is having a decent quarantine, keeping each other safe and healthy. Today I'll be making a shark pencil pouch. To start out, the pattern is pretty simple. For the outside of the pouch, it's an easy fish shape. For the inside pouch, 
it's a tear duct or an oval shape depending on the outside pouch. Don't forget to measure it with a pencil to make sure that the pencils will fit inside. After cutting out the pattern, lay it flat on the fabric, allowing at least one centimeter of seam allowance. Once you have all the pieces cut out, get the top two pieces and sew them together with the dorsal fin between them. Then sew the two purple pieces together to make the outside of the pouch. Then do the same with the pink pouch and turn the pink pouch inside out. Once you have all your pieces sewn together, stuff the purple pouch inside the pink pouch. Now this is the tough part, you have to figure out how to pin the zipper. Once you figure that out, do a ladder stitch along the zipper and the purple and pink fabric to attach both sides of the zipper. Once you finish hand sewing the zipper to the pouches, reverse the entire thing making the purple on the outside and the pink inside the mouth. Now you are left with a little pouch. Now it's time for the buttons. The buttons are pretty simple, you just choose a position and decide to sew them in. And now there you go, an adorable little pencil pouch in the shape of a shark. All in all, I would say it is an easy and simple project to do. It was very fun, honestly. Hope you guys enjoyed today's project. See you next Friday.